Hey everyone, Steve from Backcountry Gallery, coming to you once again from Crocodile Bay in Costa Rica, where I'm running a bunch of workshops. Had a couple of days off, and I wanted to address some questions I got in my last video. So one more tripod video, and that's going to be at least for the year, and maybe for a little while. We're doing a lot of these, but and I promise it's going to be the last one. But I got a lot of questions on the last video about this little clamp that you see right here. And even my workshop participants saw this, and they were asking about it, especially when they saw what it did. So what exactly is this clamp for? Basically, this allows me to quickly take my tripod heads on and off. So for instance, if I was doing macros or landscapes, I'd want a ball head, I could put this right back on here and I could use it this way. What if I was doing wildlife? I can grab my gimbal head, slap it right on there. Way easier than carrying multiple legs with multiple heads on them or taking the same heads on and off the, a single set of legs. This allows me to use one set of legs and very quickly adapt to the situation. Plus, it's not just for the tripod, I also have this set up on my monopod. Right now, my monopod has just a simple monopod head. Now, there are times I may still use this, but personally, as you know from the last video, I really prefer using the gimbal head. So I can just take this off and then switch this over to my monopod, carefully, and there we go. Very quick, very easy. And one of the situations that I get into down here very frequently is maybe I'll start off with a monopod and I'm shooting and I say, you know, gee, I wish I had some more support. It's kind of dark because you get in the canopy and it gets dark here in Costa Rica. And maybe I'm shooting with the monopod saying, you know, I'd like to drop that shutter speed a little bit more, but I need more support. So normally that would be a hassle, but with this, I simply unhook it, put it on the tripod, and in seconds, I'm done. So that's what I like this system for. Next, let me show you how to set this up if you're interested in doing the same thing. Now, setting this up is actually really easy. You take these really right stuff clamps, you buy one of these for each of your tripods or your monopods or anything that you want to attach the heads to. And then for the heads themselves, all you need is this little dovetail attachment right here and that attaches to the gimbal head or the ball head or whatever you're going to use. And then these, of course, clamp together. So that's very easy. Now, I know the Really Right stuff is expensive, and I have no affiliation with them, by the way. It's just I feel like they make really good products, and there's probably cheaper alternatives out there, but I don't want something failing on me with a big, heavy 600 millimeter on it, so I go with the better quality stuff. Now, setup is super easy. Basically, you take the little clamp piece and you screw it to your tripod. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw this down onto the standard 3 8 stud that's coming out of this Really Right Stuff tripod. They're also the same stud on Gitsus and pretty much any tripod that you run across. Now, one of the tricks is to make sure that this is securely down. Now there's a variety of ways to do that and you can use all of these or some of these. I'm just going to throw out some suggestions here. The first would be to put some Loctite, some of the blue Loctite, so it's you know not on there permanently and forever, but it's really, really good. You can put the blue Loctite on the 3 8 inch stud. Some tripods will have a set screw system that you can use to help secure this down, or you can just take a pair of pliers and maybe give this an extra crank with the clamp closed. So several options there. Just make sure this is nice and tight. Next, we have our little dovetail, and these are equally easy to attach. You simply take your head and you line this up here. It comes with this screw. Again, 3 8 standard 3 8 and you just screw it in. Doesn't really matter which direction it's turned because as you turn the individual head, that's going to vary. But just make sure that that's in there tight. Again, this might be something where you think about some, maybe a little touch of blue Loctite so this doesn't come off. But that's about it. Once that's done, you can just clamp it in place and you're good to go. So you're gonna to wanna to put one of these little dovetails on all your heads. One of these, I have one on my tripod and another one on the monopod, and you're all set. So that's about it for today. If you enjoyed these tips, please make sure you stop by my site, check out my ebook, Secrets to Stunning Wildlife Photography and Secrets to the Nikon Autofocus System. Both of them are just jam packed with tips and tricks you're absolutely going to love. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.